Hello everybody! Happy Art Day! Welcome to Freakin' Art! I'm Anastasia and I'm so excited that you decided to join me to make some art today. Today we're going to make a really cool process-based painting. That's right, we're going to be making a painting using shaving cream and food coloring. Isn't that cool? Well, process-based paintings, you might have learned about if you've been watching my classes, but if you haven't, process-based artwork is where the actual process or the system of making your artwork is more important than the final piece. So for today's class, we're going to need some foam shaving cream, Nothing too fancy, probably the cheaper the better. Some paper towels, because we're gonna get a little bit messy, of course. Some food coloring. I'm using our primary colors. That's right, our yellow, our red, and our blue. If you don't have food dye, you can always use paint. The colors just might be not as bright. We're going to need some toothpicks or popsicle sticks to move around that color, a paper plate or pie dish or Pyrex tin, and a piece of cardboard or a business card, and of course, some paper. So before we start, let's do a little stretch and breathing so we can be really relaxed and focus for our super fun art project. Okay, everybody, let's breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> oh, that always feels so nice. Let's do it one more time. Let's breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> now let's roll our shoulders back and roll them forward and interlace your fingers and stretch out those fingers and hands and arms. Ooh. Hmm. I feel focused and ready to make some art. I hope you are too. So as I said, if you don't have food dye, you can use paint. The images, the colors are just gonna be a little bit lighter, but it still works, so don't let lack of material get you down. These are what my super awesome marble paintings look like with the food coloring, just to give you a little inspiration. And really this is super fun and really easy and you get these really beautiful results. Now we are going to be making a little bit of a mess, of course, so you might want to put down some newspaper, so you don't get food coloring all over the place. I'm gonna just put this out of the way and we'll start. Okay, I think we're all set up and ready to go. Now first things first, you're gonna take your plate, your pie dish, your Pyrex, your baking tin, whatever you have, and fill it with shaving cream. Now it's really important that it's the stuff that's just foamy and not like jelly. Okay. So just go ahead and fill whatever container you're using with the shaving cream. Just like that. Hopefully yours smells nice. This smells pretty good. Okay, next you're gonna take your food dye. These come with droppers, so it's easy to drop it on there. If you don't have food coloring, you can use the paint. You're just gonna wanna be able to drop it on the shaving cream. Okay, so I got my red here, and I'm just gonna put some drops That looks good. 
Now I'm going to take my blue and do the same thing. Okay, and now I'm going to take my yellow and then I'll have all three of my primary colors. Okay, now you don't have to cover the whole thing with colors because we're going to take our tool, whether it's a popsicle stick or a fork or a toothpick like I have and make some swooshy motions to mix that food coloring into the dye there. That looks pretty nice. Now we're going to take our paper and you want your paper to be cut to the size or at least a little bit smaller, similar size to your vessel you're putting in. So if you have a big Pyrex dish or a baking sheet, you could use a really big piece of paper. But since I have this tiny paper plate, I cut down some tiny paper. I'm using some cardstock. Um, you could use watercolor paper. You could use whatever paper you got. It just might be a little bit crinkly if it's like computer paper. But don't let it get you down. Okay. <clears throat> This is the, where the magic happens. So we got our shaving cream and our food coloring and we swirled it around and now we're just going to press that paper down into that pile of shaving cream and food coloring. Feel it up. And now we're gonna take our piece of cardboard or your business card or whatever you have and scrape off the shaving cream. You can see even I put down a piece of paper to catch all this because it's really messy. So I'm holding my paper with my fingertip and I'm just scraping I just scraped all that shaving cream off and look what's left. Isn't that pretty? I think so and it's super fun to make. Now we can do it again. You can do it a couple times on, on the same setup of shaving cream. You could also put more shaving cream on top and do a whole fresh batch of color. You just want to put your piece of paper somewhere where it can dry. I'm going to go ahead and go with the same batch I got. Maybe just swoosh the colors a little bit more. Like so. Now I'm going to take my piece of paper and figure out where I want it on this beautiful palette I have here. Let's see. I'm pressing it down. You don't have to smush it in there hard. You can just press it down gently. Whew! And peeled it up. So now again, I'm putting it over on my paper bag over here. I've got some cardboard and I'm just going to hold down one corner so it stays put and scrape all that shaving cream off. Beautiful. 
It's a really nice way to make your own paper for your collages and your cards and all your fun art projects you have. Now it's pretty dry right away, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But maybe put it over the side. Now you can always add more shaving cream to the top, like I said. And then I'll, maybe I'll take one of my secondary colors here, my green. And I'll take my primary yellow. And maybe a little bit of blue. And do another design. Now the dye works pretty good for a couple times. This is just to show you, you can, if you feel like you're bored of the colors you used, or you feel like you're not getting a good print anymore, you can put some more shaving cream right on top of the stuff you got. And go ahead and do another print. Well, <laughs> let's scrape that off. that little green and yellow and blue in the center and then my other primary color swirls on the edges there I do think it you get a better cleaner mixture of colors if you can scrape it all off at once um, otherwise you can see it gets a little bit smushed but don't let that get you down you just keep on trying and figure out a good system or process that works for you. Well, I think these are really great and a fun way to make your artwork. I sure hope you liked today's class. I did. If you did like today's class, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. It helps me continue to make these fun art classes for you here on YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. All that info will be in the box below. And of course, I would love to see your beautiful process-based marble paintings. So please tag me on Instagram at freaking art or send me some snail mail so we can look at it together and see the amazing creations you've made. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you next week.